Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to five champs versus five golds who have a 3-0 head start. We are joined today by Noodle, Racky, Zonky, Boosty, as well as Dino for our five champs. And you guys can read off the names for the gold players. So our champ players are going to be starting on defense as the golds had just won three rounds on defense themselves. So they're going to be starting on attack. And the champs will be starting on defense. Now, before the video continues, if you guys wouldn't mind taking a second to check out the socials of our five champ players, make sure to follow them. The links to all of their socials will be down below in the description. You guys would also find my socials there if you wouldn't mind following me as well. But with that being said, make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. I post videos like this one every single day. So remember to turn those notifications on but with that being said let's get straight into our first round round one has just started and Raki is already going for an aggressive spawn peak here and it looks like he actually might get a kill onto the buck that is going to be death dealer taking about 50 hp not a great start for the golds here a lot of spawn peaks coming out and that's going to be noodle with a big first kill onto panda gamer that's going to be the nomad getting taken out but noodle's not finished he's trying to go for a second kill here on the round and dino as well as Rocky are downstairs trying to get some kills of their own death dealer gonna buck open the garage door he's gonna try to peek Rocky, but it's not gonna happen Rocky just has the better gun skill in that engagement there goes the buck that's gonna be sledge though with the refrag onto dino so there goes your ella player Nades coming out from Pina right now. Or Pina trying to nade up into Armory where Zonky's at. But he's going to fall back down into the classroom. That's Noodle with another kill on the round against Gold Merchandise. There goes your Flores player. All up to Pita and Healer. The Finca and the Sledge. The last two remaining attackers now. Zonky taking about half of his HP. But the rest of the champs still looking pretty healthy. Minute 40 left. So the Gold players definitely have time to pull this back. And remember... All the gold players need to do is win one round and it is over. But Dealer about to peek into the classroom. There goes Zonky. Was not ready for the peek by Dealer whatsoever. Noodle with another kill onto Dealer though. So there goes your Finca. Now it's all up to Pita who's actually on the roof right now. Zonky's trying to go for an aggressive peek. But Pita is not having it. Gonna rotate over towards the big window. Minute, 20 seconds left. He could potentially clutch this. Noodle going all the way outside right now, and Peter just not wanting to peek him whatsoever. That's going to be a kill on Raki though. So there goes your Melusi player. It's all up to Noodle and Boosty. Noodle with a nice shot on a Peter. That's what we like to see. 4K for Noodle on the round in the first official round of the match going to the champs. Man, you could definitely tell that Noodle was off the G fuel using code SHOCK with the link down below in the description that round. Absolutely amazing performance by him with the 4K. Raki with the 1K. The Golds not quite able to pull out enough frags to win that round. But yeah, like I said before, just remember, the Golds, all they have to do is win one round. All the champs need to do is get overconfident, get a little bit cocky, make a couple mistakes, and lose a single round, and they are out of this map. This is a best of three, but... They definitely don't want to go down on maps this early. Check out the MPX skin on Zonky here. I actually really like that skin. I'm going to have to use that one for some thumbnails. That's looking really nice. We're actually going to see a spawn peak coming out from Noodle right now. And this could be problematic, problematic as we do have Dealer as well as, uh, I believe, I don't even know who that is, Death Dealer all the way by Small Tower. And that's going to be Death Dealer getting taken out by Noodle. Nice shots by him. Rocky taking a significant amount of damage trying to peek in through that bunker angle. Dealer going to try to peek in through the window and try to refrag on Noodle. But Noodle's already all the way gone. Pushing towards the big tower now. Dino trying to run out maybe the big tower and get a kill of his own. But Pita is going to refrag the kill that Noodle got earlier. Boosty with a nice kill onto gold merchandise. There goes your Flores once again. And an impact grenade from Noodle. Nice <laughs> impact by him. Boosty with another kill on the Capkin. It's all up to CP. Who is all the way inside of Small Tower. Why is he all the way here still? It's been a full minute since the round started. He was still all the way there. And he's Ying. He should have been in the bunker to try to do a bunker take with the rest of his team. The gold's just not coordinated enough. And Raki going to take him out. Easy shotgun kill for him. Two to three now. Also, I just want to like preface this video with the uh, fact that I've been awake for 24 hours now. And 
That is why my casting today is absolutely abysmal. My casting normally is pretty awful, but I my brain is completely fried right now because I have no sleep. So I apologize in advance if I butcher names, if I pause, if it's just completely miserable to listen to, I apologize. Just bear with me for this video. Noodle with another spawn peek. Gonna actually run all the way outside onto the white van and try to get a spawn peek into the street. But Dino is actually gonna be the one to get the spawn peek. Poor Death Dealer dying once again to a spawn peek. How unfortunate that's gonna be your Osa gone. But Noodle still trying to get these spawn peeks, but he's just not gonna find it because Boosty's gonna get another one himself. All of his teammates are stealing his spawn peaks. Noodle just desperately trying to get a kill, but he might be able to get one onto the sledge. That's Pita falling 5v2 already. All up to gold merchandise as well as Panda in the 2v5 here. Noodle trying to run out of the big door here. He actually might find merchandise who's right behind the fence here, and that's going to be merchandise getting actually a big double kill on the Zonky with the Claymore as well as the LMG of Noodle. Panda taking a lot of damage. I'm not really sure from who just yet, but a lot of damage being taken by Panda. Wow, Boosty with another kill on the Panda. It doesn't matter if he's low HP or not, because Boosty's going to hit the headshot there. And Rocky with another kill onto gold merchandise. Absolutely. The, the chance are just absolutely dominating the gold players here. It's unreal. And I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I did golds because this video was initially supposed to be silvers. And I was like, you know what? Let's do golds. I think it'll be a little bit more challenging. But wow, the champs are just absolutely dominating here. Rocky running all the way outside trying to steal Noodle's spawn peak right now. Noodle himself trying to get a spawn peak as well. All of the gold players have actually spawned outside of uh street except for gold merchandise he's gonna get taken out by boosty nice shots by him dino in the garage with an impact grenade you see can see all of the golds right now just terrified to leave the spawn all of them just hiding outside behind the cars right now and do you blame them panda with a nice kill onto noodle though where did he get that kill from all the way from out here he's going for a second kill as well onto dino and he's actually going to get it boosty trying to get a refrag here a little bit of shots onto Peta, but not quite enough to get a kill. He actually might be able to take out Panda here, though, if he overpeaks. Rocky might go for a C4 here out through the window as the Ying is just right underneath the window. I don't know if he knows it, though. C4 did get ripped out, and that's going to be the C4 from Rocky, but it's going to miss. 3v4 now, and I believe this is the first time where the golds have actually had the man count advantage over the champ players. Dino and Noodle getting taken out. Boosty, the second frag for the champ, still alive. The Raki with a kill on to Pita. Death Dealer with a kill on to Zonki. 2v3 for the champs now. It's starting to look a little bit bleaker for them. Panda trying to push in through the master balcony. Boosty gonna fall off. Raki gonna fall off of that. Back onto the site with Boosty as they're gonna. Continue setting up the site as I believe they weren't even finished setting up site. They were too focused on the spawn peaks to even set up the site. So now in a 2v3, they've got to set up the site. But they do have the Thunderbirds for the heals. So they're looking pretty healthy, especially compared to the gold players. Candela's coming out from Dealer and narrowly missing the shots on the Boosty. But he's going to turn around and get an amazing shot onto him. That's another down for Boosty as well. And he's going to go for the third kill. Nice shots by him. Rocky credited for the kill in the kill feed, but I believe that was actually Boosty who downed him there. Great shots by him. 7-0 by Boosty. So this is going to be the gold's first actual round on defense. They were up 3-0 to start, but they didn't actually play any of those defense rounds to get to 3-0. Noodle taking a huge amount of damage, I believe, from gold merchandise, who has also taken a huge amount of damage. I believe Noodle actually almost got Bosch deed. Now, Gold Merchandise took a lot of health. He can go back and get some Thunderbirds from Dealer here. Noodle is going to be able to think a charge back up. So, overall, Gold Merchandise will probably come out with more HP here. If he just rotates back and gets healed, for some reason, he's still trying to push Noodle. And I don't think this is going to work for him. Noodle with the upside down repel. And that's going to be an easy kill for Noodle. Ida with a kill on to Dino, though. And Boosie with a refrag as the Blitz. And we actually see Raki all the way in sight. With the Dokubi DMR, Boosie with the Blitz trying to push in through Attic right now. Peeking in, almost gets the wall bang. That's going to be Rocky with the kill on to Pita. It's all up to Death Dealer. He's going to be flanking in. That's a kill on to Noodle. Trying to go for the other kills. 
Boosie taking a lot of damage right now on the Blitz. He's so low HP, but it's not going to matter. He gets the kill on the Death Dealer, and that's GG's. Pretty decisive win from the champs here on Oregon. Was hoping that Gold's put up a little bit more of a fight than they did, but just some questionable plays by them, and uh, not enough frags. Donkey saying he went nuts. 0-4. Unfortunate. <laughs> Here we go. Starting off Clubhouse with a bang here. Boosty trying to peek through the garage door. Dealer already taking a large amount of damage. And that's an insane shot from Boosty onto gold merchandise. There goes your Cali. What an amazing shot by Boosty. Wow. Dealer already taking a fair amount of damage on that Ying. All of the golds just desperately trying to push out of the site here. Peta actually able to take out Boosty. That's going to be the uh, Mozzie getting taken out there by the Sledge. Now, they do have the Thermite still, so they're able to get the wall open, but they're going to have to worry about the bandits from Zonky. But they do have the Maverick to try to stop that. Alibi Trick going to come out from Raki, and he's actually going to be able to run out on that information. That's Death Dealer down. There goes your Maverick. Maverick not going to be able to get those bandits off from Zonky anymore. Another reswing coming out from Raki. He's going to get the kill on the Panda. There goes your Thermite. Now it's all up to Pita and Dealer. Dealer going to get taken out by Noodle. Now it's all up to Pita in the 1v4. Raki is very lit. But they do have Thunderbird, so we can easily go back and get healed. Red ping is coming out, as the golds have not even shot the default cameras yet. He just seems unsure of what he should be doing right now. He really doesn't know what to push or where to go. Typical gold behavior. Not hating on him, but you can really show that... Uh, you can really see that these guys are true golds. Grenade just on the ceiling there. I'm not really sure what happened. Nade's coming out. Another nade on the ceiling. Pita, what are we doing, my man? <laughs> to try to swing out and possibly peek Raki here but Raki trying to push all the way back down into spawn Pita just doesn't know what to do you got to peek somebody you've got wall hacks on Raki this is a free kill you've also got wall hacks on Noodle who's all the way outside in the warehouse spawn these are free kills for Pita shots going out to Raki who's taking a lot of damage the HP is about the same from both of these operators now Pita definitely has the advantage with the wall hacks plus the L85 that does so much damage all he has to do is land like two more shots. He's just going to go prone. Pita is at a loss of what he should do. Noodle being a big pain in his side right now. All the way back in the workshops or the warehouse spawn. Trying to deagle him, but it's not going to happen. Pita is proning all the way to the hatch. I think he's going to try to sledge it and then push in. But that's actually going to be Dino shooting through the hatch right now trying to kill him. He just has no idea what to do right now. The champs are just converging on him from every single angle. Rocky going to get healed now. So he's got to go against four full health champs. And there's only 15 seconds remaining. Rocky going to hop out the window. He sees the pings. And he's going to get the kill. That's Peter going down. Round one to the champ players. Noodle spawn peeking towards the construction spawn right here. And he's going to have to face up against Dealer as well as Death. There's two dealers in here, I just realized. Death Dealer and Dealer. Wow, that's not confusing at all. That's going to be Dino with the run out. That's Death Dealer getting taken out. But the other dealer is trying to comp compete with them. Deagle's coming out from Dino. He's going to take a lot of damage. Random Valcams. That's going to lose signal here in about five seconds and be useless for the rest of the game. All the champs are still alive, though. Raki going to run out. As I say that, that's going to be Noodle getting taken out by Dealer. But Raki with the refrag straight away. It's all up to Pita and Panda. Panda narrowly getting his head taken off here by Raki, who's in the stock room. He's in the swing. A lot of damage being taken by Raki. C4 going to come out. Panda, are you going to dodge it? No. A little bit of health getting taken off by Panda from that C4. He's going to try to pre-fire Raki, but it's not going to matter. Pita's got his back. That's the one tap on the Raki. Donkey flanking into bar, trying to flank Pita right now. Panda, you got to get in the building and try to help your teammate, man. Pita is fighting his demons right now. Zonky with the flank still on the bar. Boosty is in freezer right now, and I don't know if the two gold players know that. Dino holding it down on sight. The real go here is Dino for the one playing really passive and just holding sight. Let's be honest. Donkey trying to quick peek right now. That's a great shot by him on the panda. It's all up to Peter right now. The only person besides dealer on the gold team who actually has any sort of kills right now. Boosty still inside a kitchen. Donkey inside a stock. And Dino all the way or Dino all the way outside right now. 
None of the champ players have any idea where Peter is. Just if Peter had the bomb, he'd be able to get a plant down, but it's not going to happen. Boosty heard him walking through the hallway, and that's a nice kill for him. Second round to the champs. Donkey going for a spawn peek here right on the CCTV wall, and he looks primed to get a kill here as three of the gold attackers have been spawning over by Kennels. Rocky trying to take up the same angle as him as well. So we have two of the champs peeking this wall right now and three of the golds running out from the spawn. But unfortunately for the champs, they weren't able to get even a single kill from this. But Peta actually might be able to get a kill of his own onto Raki. Depends on if he's able to hit those shots. Gold taking a lot of damage. I'm not even sure from who. I believe that's going to be Boosty, who's over here by Strip right now, trying to hold this down. He's going to be facing two different attackers. Panda as well as gold that's going to be a run out from noodle who's going to get two big kills on the golden panda so there go your two attacking operators from the strip side and that's both your hard breachers gone grenades getting thrown out from the gold players and death almost actually dying to one of them he's going to get pushed by Raki, and he's going to get taken out Raki going for another kill right now that's going to be the down player of Peta getting taken out only one player left it's going to be dealer and that's an easy kill for Raki. flawless shot from the champs i'll be totally honest with you guys i was i was not expecting this to happen i was expecting the golds to even possibly win one of the maps this is like a pretty decisive win you guys may think I'm tripping for that, but if you guys watched one of my most recent videos where I put up, I put uh, champs up against coppers, but the champs had permadeath. That was crazy. The coppers actually ended up winning in a best of three. The coppers won two maps over the champs. So I made a video where coppers literally beat champs, but this video, golds can't beat champs. So, you know, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Raki is all the way outside. Looks like the ent half the champ team is just all the way outside rushing the shipping dock spawn. But no one is here. That is a ballsy strat from the champ players here. All four of them outside in the shipping dock spawn. Noodle, the sole champ player to hold down the inside of the map here. Taking a look at the gold players. Mostly on the roof here. Trying to... Probably coordinate some form of an attack onto the outside champ players. Rocky could find himself stuck outside along with Zonky and Boosty right now as they are all the way back here. That's going to be Dealer with a nice kill onto Zonky. What a good shot by him. And another kill by Dealer. A little bit of a tap kill onto Rocky. Nice shots by him. The gold player is suddenly turning up. The wall hacks from the, the golds right now with all of the champs being outside is just proving so effective right now. Boosty trying to do what he can to get some frags right now. Flashbangs are going to come out. Not only is Boosty detected through the wall, but he's getting flashbanged by the attacking players. Air jabs are going to be coming out from Death Dealer as well. This is a little bit overkill, wouldn't you say? Noodle, though, with an impact grenade on the jacuzzi wall, going to take out Dealer. Gold with a nice refrag, though, onto Boosty. Only two... Champs remain against four golds. Things have slowed down a lot now. Now that the both the champ players are inside, the golds have really slowed down. They're not really sure what to do, and I don't blame them, to be honest. There's so much that's open. Jacuzzi wall's open. All of Sherp is open. The walls are open. If we even look where Dino is playing out right now, he's all the way in stock, looking through the stock wall, through bar, through pool table, through the pool table wall, into Strip. Like, the angles that the champ players are holding is absolutely insane. And you're going to have Panda, who might be dropping straight into the line of sight of Dino here. We'll see what ends up happening. Noodle trying to hold down that bathroom slash stairs push where we see Peter out right now. He could fall victim to Noodle here any second. Dino going to be doing a lot of damage onto Death Dealer, who just dropped all the way into Pool Table right now. He's trying to shoot where he thinks the bullets are coming from, but... In his defense, you can barely see where Dino's at. Noodle trying to go for a flank. He's going to get the kill on the Death Dealer. Dino, where is he at? He's dead. Panda going to take him out. It's all up to Noodle now in the 1v2. Can he clutch it out? Where's the bomb? Gold players, where's the bomb? Noodle's got the bomb. And he, Noodle's going to clutch it out. Noodle was watching the bomb. That is so tragic. Just if one of the gold players had the bomb, they could have planted there. Noodle going to win the 1v2. And another round to the champ players here.
Dinah running the Finca shotgun right now. Looks like we might have a quick rush right here from the champ players. We see them all congregating outside of the main breach. Zonky with the Thatcher right now. Noodle as the Thermite. Flashbang's going to go through the drone hole here. Noodle spamming the drone hole, but one's going to hit the champ's foot. And that's the entire team blind right now. That's going to be the Thatcher grenades going out. Noodle throwing the Thermite charge on the wall. And we're going to see a shotgun rush here. Zonky with the shotgun. Dino with the shotgun. Boosty actually with the uh, the regular gun. Zonky with a team kill onto Dino. Raki with two kills. He's going to get taken out by Dealer. Boosty with a kill on the gold merchandise and onto Zonky. Boosty with another kill onto Di uh, Dealer right now. That's actually Death Dealer with the kill of his own though. 1v1. And that's going to be Boosty taking him out. GG's. The champs won 10 rounds in a row. All right, well, I guess that is that. I, normally, we would play a third map if, like, things were close and we would settle it there. But to be honest, the champs won 10 rounds straight in a row. So we're going to call that a decisive win from the champ players. Let me know what you guys think I should do for the next video down below in the comments. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys follow all the champ players. The link's down below in the description. And thank you so much for watching.